Hi everyone, my name is Sakshi. Welcome to my channel. So this is my first video, so I'm very excited about it and I'm really looking forward to your suggestions, to your feedbacks, to your comments, anything that can help me improve my video, anything that I should do, should not do, I'm most welcome to post it so that we all together can grow as a family. I've started this channel just to share my love of makeup that I have with you all and at the same time learn from you guys because I know there are a lot of people who know a lot about makeup more than me so I'm just a small tiny fish <laughs> in the pond but I'm eager to learn and eager to share whatever little knowledge I have with me and as I said I want all of us to grow as a family um, so today I'm going to do a very simple makeup. Right now I'm here and I want to do this video that I've been thinking about for a long time and I thought it will be great to start my YouTube journey with. So I bought this Huda Beauty uh, Gemstone Obsession Palette and I am in love with all the colors. They are just so gorgeous. Just look at them. They are so amazing. So I've been wanting to try these and I thought that why not let my first video be with this with Huda she's a great inspiration she's a fabulous woman I've never met her but <laughs> I have read a lot about her and uh, she's a great woman she is in Dubai here in my land so that is also exciting so um, let's start and uh, let's start with the eyes so I'm going to start my eyes by first prepping up my eyes skin or this the skin because it becomes, it is usually blacker than the rest of your face. So, you know, it's very important to, at times people put primers, at times people use uh, concealers. I prefer using concealers because that neutralizes the skin and it, you know, it actually prepares your skin to put color on top of that. Because if it's dark and you put any color on that, if you're using any light color, it might not show that well. So, if you use a concealer, it... You know, it's like a clean slate, you know, and it's ready to be used. And when you put colors on top of that, they actually show. So for that, I'm going to use a concealer. I have this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. It is in shade 40. This is perfect for my shade, for, perfect for my skin tone. So I'm going to use my concealer. As you can see, I'm going to use my concealer and I just prep my skin quickly. And I just use a little... For my under eyes, for my skin, everything. And you can actually bring it out a little so that all this can also become fine. Don't take a lot of product because then it will be difficult for you to merge it. Because then it will take you for ages to merge that thing. So take little product enough and always go in the corners of your eyes. See, can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Now, if I put any color on top of this, it will look really good. So, you know what I mean. So, as you can see, my eyes are all ready <laughs> to be colored. Look at the difference. What dif How different. Just a little bit of concealer and it is looking like so clean, so nice. And this also helps you to just clean out your eyebrows, you know. So, my eyes are all ready for the eyeshadow. So, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to use the Huda Rose Gold Palette Edition. I'm going to use the lighter color like this one and I'm just going to apply it on my lids. This will also help me settle the concealer that I have applied on my eyes. Very little, not like, but very gently apply it nicely on all the corners it should be even so I've, I've set my eyes with the eyeshadow so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take a lighter pink color this one right here and I'm going to put it I'll make a crease kind of thing. I'll just lie it here. As I said, I'm going to do very light things. So we'll not 
हो बट क्या विल अप्लाई अ लिटिल एंड कीप ब्लेंडिंग कीप ब्लेंडिंग इट नाइसली वर्क योर प्रोडक्ट इन आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग लाइक पुटिंग इट ऑन द बोन द लिट बोन द एज ऑफ दैट एंड आई एम जस्ट दैन ब्लेंडिंग इट I've done the shading part on this, making a crease for my eye. I'm going to take a darker pink color. I like this one, so let's try this. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put on the corners of my eye, and then I will join them. I like to make a crease, so I'm going to make a how much a line kind of a thing to see how much I want to go out, and then I fill it in. and the key is to blend so blend my friend and the same i'm going to do this side but not too much basically just giving little depth to the eyes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same brush that i used to make the crease and i'm just going to not take any product and i'll just blend the edges and join this this gap Can you see? Can you see? Okay. Now I'm going to take the gemstone obsession palette, and I'm going to use. Hmm, Choose the purple. Let's see how it goes. And I'm going to fill in the blanks. I'm going to use it in the center where I left the blank. It's very pigmented. It is really nice. I love the color. It's looking gorgeous. Look at this! Wow. Now I'm going to take a lighter color, and I'm just going to highlight the under my eyebrow. So I've done this eye. <coughs> I'm going to take a lighter color. This one, I'm going to just highlight another. Like you can see here, I'm going to do it here as well. So just just brighten up. Meaning so. I am taking a lighter color and just making like a halo <laughs> on my eye. Don't worry about the things that have fallen on my face or here because we're going to clean this nicely and again redo my under eyes and a little bit of base to you know complete the look. So I'm going to do my eyeliner now. I got this new Zoeva liquid liner. I tried uh, a lot of uh, gel based liner. I like them, but I think you know that that light precision, especially when you're doing the wing, you get with the liquid eyeliner is is awesome. And uh, if you want, you can merge it later to your gel liner. You can do that. So, but I'm today I'm going to try and using uh, this one, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> so, just to start the corner of the eye. This is very smooth, guys. I'm liking it. Let's see how it turns out and how dark it is. So now, after the eyeliner, I'm going to do my mascara for the upper lashes. 
this is uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational Effect Event All. <laughs> event Tail, sorry. Effect Event Tail. Which is actually quite heavy and nice. So even if you're just going out and using it like that, it's good. I'm just going to use it nicely on my... After the lash, I'm going to take a wet tissue. This is Neutrogena Deep Clean Makeup Remover Tissues and I love them. I always remove my makeup with this. So I'm going to just take this and clean my under eye and just take it up like that. Clean it nicely. I'm cleaning my face at the same time. face I've cleaned my under eyes you can see that all the all the product that had fallen after doing my eyeshadow is all gone and nice and clean so now I'm going to start prepping my skin I'm going to use my primer this is Too Faced Poreless Primer I love this product again <laughs> I think there is not much that I don't love I like everything but they are good so I'm just going to nicely, you know, I'm going to do it for my under eyes also because I think it makes the skin soft. Very nicely just work it up into your skin. Okay, and now I'm going to start color correcting for my dark circles i have a lot of dark circles the best thing i'm sure you guys know is to use orange or a warmer shade to a warmer shade to color your uh, dark circles so i'm going to do that again i'm using makeup forever pro sculpting palette and i'm going to just apply the red on the areas that i need the correction don't need to go overboard on the color just wherever you feel that you need to cover the dark part, you do it. And then on the sides of my mouth. Just nicely. Now I'm going to take my concealer. Uh, I'm going to apply my concealer. I've nicely applied my concealer to all the parts. I'm just going to take a wet sponge, a beauty blender. I've used my MAC uh, Prep and Prime liquid to just tap the blender and I'm just going to blend nicely my under eyes the corners of my mouth So I've already applied my foundation and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do contouring I'm again using the same palette I'm taking the brown shade that is perfect for my skin and I'm going to contour give a little cut my nose
my cheek a little bit here not much but yeah a little to give some shape Using the same brush, just blend the edges. My contour. Doing the cream contour, I'm going to set it up with powder. So I've taken Ben Ayers banana powder. I've taken a little sponge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just first see if there is any line after the concealer and highlighter on my under eyes. Just correct it a little, and with this sponge itself, I'm going to apply the powder like this and just gently dab it into the skin I really like this way because it actually sets it right and it looks very nice I've already done for this side so I just quickly did this so same I'm going to do for my t-zone where I'd use the highlighter this With the NYX powder contour, I'm going to powder contour the areas that I want hidden, which is my, I want my cheeks to look chiseled and my jawline to look sharp. So I'm going to use the darker powder and just set it up right. My double chin. And little bit on my forehead. Don't have to do a lot. The powdered contouring is done. I'm going to apply my uh, blush on. And this is my all time favorite. Look at the condition of this. This is MAC Melba. And this is matte finish. I love matte uh, blush ons. They're really nice. So I'm going to do it on my cheeks. Again, working it up into my hairline. After I've got the powder on my face, I'm just going to smile and take whatever powder is left onto my apple of the cheeks. You make such funny faces to get the makeup on. <laughs> you've got to do what you've got to do. <laughs> After my blush on is done, I'm going to put my highlighter. I am obsessing over Anastasia Beverly Hills. <gasps> highlighter, it is so amazing. Look at this. Can you see? So I'm going to use the same brush because I love this brush. So I'm just going to swipe it through the product, take the product and just... So it's basically like kind of creating a 3D effect on your face, you know, it's like an illusion. So what, how do you do that? You start with darker, a lighter and a lighter shade. So for my cheeks, what I did, I used a dark, um, a dark shade contour that is set as the base then on top of that i applied a blush on which was a lighter shade and then on top of that i'm going to put my highlighter so it's going to be like three shades and the same thing you do with your eyes as well you start with dark from the corners of your eyes to give the depthness to your eye then you go a little lighter and then you go a little lighter and then the highlighter so you know it's like an illusion to make your eye look big or your cheeks look thinner in shape so it's Makeup is like an illusion, so yeah. So I'm going to apply the highlighter now. 
I'm just going to sweep it over my foundation. I'm just going to bring a little to my cheek to get that little glow going. And then I'm going to just brush it into my corners. So it's like, it's like a V, you know, it's like a V thing happening. See, I'm going to do this side. Over the eyebrow. From my nose, the tip of my nose. I like to do this. blusher and everything is face is set now what i want to do is i want to do something for my under eyes not actually under eyes but the lower lid of my light my uh, eyes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a darker pink shade because we are going with the pink and purples the so same family i'm just going to line my lower under eye Same for the other eye. And it should start with the darkest at the edge of the eye and then quick, lightly, slightly going into the insides of your eye. So the darkest should be, again, the illusion, darkest, light and the lightest. So the darkest should be at the corner. Then slowly working your way up with the shape of the eye and lightening it up. Now after doing this, I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes, which we did not do before. And be very careful because you should, you don't want the product to come down to your base now because I, we cannot <laughs> remove the base. So very gently. And now lipstick. So I'm going to use this is Bourjois lip contour. I like this color a lot. So we're not going too dark with the colors. We're making it very, very simple, nice, easy going colors. So I'm just going to quickly line up my lip liner, line up my lines, um, line up my lips. So after lining my lips and filling up with the lip liner, I'm going to use the lipstick. This is MAC Meher and this is one of my favorite colors as well. I'm going to use this on my lips on top of my lip liner. And then after doing this, I'm going to add a little shine <laughs> to my lips. I'm using Huda's uh, this is um, snobby, Huda snobby, the lip tint. To give it a little glossy effect, I don't know if you guys can see this. So this is the makeup I did using Huda's Gemstone Obsession palette and I love it. It is awesome. And look at the colors. <laughs> I'm going to try the other colors soon and we'll post my video.